I'm Jeremy Daly and today we're going to be talking about how to vlog with a GoPro. Let's get started. Vlogging with a GoPro is kick ass. It's so small, it's versatile, it's lightweight, you can put it anywhere and it's an amazing beast of a camera considering how tiny it is. Right here I have the GoPro 4 Silver and today I'm going to be showing you how I hack it to make it a lot better, easier to use and enable better audio. So there's two things that you're going to need to buy when it comes to upgrading the GoPro's audio and that is first, a new mic. Right here I have the Rode Micro. Unfortunately the GoPro does not natively have a 3.5mm jack so what you're going to have to buy is another additional $30 cord that adapts to your mic to the GoPro. Now the link to that cord is in the description. Um, I would highly suggest buying the GoPro officially branded one. You can buy the off-brand ones for like $8, $10, but a lot of people say they stop working on the second try and it's not worth it. Now the next investment that I bought to upgrade my vlogging potential with my GoPro was a cage. This one's really awesome because it has a hot shoe adapter so I can actually put my any mic on top of this. In addition, when I put the GoPro in the cage, it has these slits on the sides so that the adapter can actually go in to this GoPro. Now the one that comes with the GoPro, the plastic container, it doesn't have the slits on the sides and sure you could drill some holes but then it doesn't have a hot shoe adapter so I picked up this cage for about $48. Now the last step when it comes to vlogging with your GoPro, you have everything, your cage, your mic, your adapter, everything's looking good but now you need a Gorillapod. There's a couple Gorillapods that you can get you can get the smaller one if you want. I got the bigger one because I also vlog with my bigger cameras. I love vlogging with my GoPro because it's just, it's so damn light. I vlog a lot with my mirrorless camera and it's just too big, it's too heavy. And sometimes I get unmotivated to actually vlog moments because it's in my bag buried while I'm traveling. But if I just have these two kind of apart and I just quickly throw it on, I'm gonna be capturing more moments. All I have to do is click one button and it starts vlogging. Now there's a few downsides when it comes to vlogging with a GoPro. Vlogging in low light is not the greatest. You know, if you're shooting at nighttime or in a low light bar, like you're gonna see a lot of noise and it's not the most pleasing thing. Now another downside to shooting with the GoPro is that you only have one focal length and it can get kind of boring the whole time. It's awesome that it's wide and you can zoom in a tiny bit natively in the GoPro, but other than that, you know, you can't throw on a 200 millimeter lens and zoom in and get beautiful video and compression with bokeh. And, and another downside is that you have little control. You can't control your aperture, shutter speed, ISO. You can change the max ISO that it can go up to, but other than that, it's, it's hard to fine tune this GoPro to exactly what you want it to do but hey if you're shooting outside it's bright and sunny uh, the lighting conditions aren't changing too much it's still gonna look beautiful i'm really impressed how these gopros have captured such stunning footage and as like a third camera just capturing behind the scenes that i can use for my vlogs for my business or just using this straight to vlog all day like i've had for many trips it's beautiful now i'm gonna show you guys some footage that actually i use this vlogging setup for so you can hear the audio you can see the video quality and you can see how easy it was for me to make a vlog with this setup. All right, so I'm just going over to meet with Kaylee and we're gonna go up again. I think we're staying at the same spot. Uh, the marketing manager said she might get us to a new spot depending on the weather, but she isn't here today, so we'll wait and see. Overall, it's a great system to vlog on, very cost effective. It's one of the cheapest way to get into vlogging if you already have a GoPro. So definitely check out the links in the description. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to leave them below and I'll see you in the next one.